Okay. Hi, this is uh, Luis Medina. I'm working with the Daily Register nowadays, and uh, I've been assigned to cover the fair. Now, as a lifelong Chicagoan, I've never been on a farm. I've never um, been to a fair. And I've never been this close to animals. Would you like to know how close I am to animals? This is how close I am to animals. Very close. In your face coverage. These are apparently long branch short horns, which I have no idea what that means. And I'm sure people around here think I'm weird for talking to myself. I digress. Um Guess we'll go inside a little. Let's see. Four H. I'm learning about this stuff as we go on. This kid's really passionate about this. I'm about to have a rabbit judging competition in a little bit. And these are some rabbits I was looking at earlier. I wonder if the audio is coming out. Not necessarily good names, but I remember that one was Destin. That was uh, Eli Bond's uh, favorite rabbit. So. Big bunny. Pretty soft, though. Um, apparently, there's a guy who comes out and he judges uh, rabbits. I don't know how you get that degree or how you learn about judging rabbits, but you do. So, we'll move on. They're setting things up here. There goes a goat way back there. We might go get that later. So I think this is really cool for me because it allows me to get out in the community and meet people, which everyone knows I love people, and it also lets them see me, and hopefully they'll love me. See, there's, there's, there's Eli in the red shirt over there with his goats. Now, where I'm from, we don't own goats um, as pets or in general at all. Most Cub fans hate goats. Personally, I'm not a fan, especially Billy Goats. Um, we're doing a little walking now. It's starting to rain a little, such a drizzle. Um, I hope this all really good. turns out well, mostly. My goodness, they're pigs. Found the pigs. Check this out. Pigs. Pork chops. Bacon. Mmm, pork chops. Alright, cool. So, uh, enough of me. I'm big in my own, right? It's a pig. I think they might be taking a nap. I'm gonna take a picture. What's that? Hey. What up, dinner? I wonder if these these pigs are used in those uh those axe commercials. I've never seen. It's kind of muddy over here, but it's cool. How you doing? Good. My name is Luis. I'm from the Daily Register. How are you? Good. Um, this is my first time out here. Uh, I'm new to the community. Uh, what are you doing with the uh, with the pigs? I'm getting them uh, washed them out, cleaning up their pins. Okay. Um, now, I've I've noticed that you know people have been showing goats and showing uh, uh, now they're gonna show rabbits. Do people show pigs? Yes. How does that work? Uh, you take them into the ring and you have a show stick and you around the ring in front of the judge and the judge will pick the best out of the category and we'll show them tomorrow for the junior show and Thursday for a 4 H show. Okay, and what's your name? Sam Glenn. Sam Glenn? Uh, how old are you? I'm 15. You're 15? Wow. Um, I thought you were older than that. Um, so how long have you been doing this? Uh, this will be my first year for Hogs. Okay. Uh, how, do you, how did you get involved? Um, I've been, a bunch of my friends have done this and a bunch of my friends at work Show hogs, so I decided I thought I might as well do it too. Okay. Uh, do you own uh, a hog yourself? Or? Yeah, I own these two right you here. You own these two, okay. Um, like, and do they have names? I know a lot of people have been naming their animals. Uh, I haven't really named them. Do you plan on? Not really. No. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm learning about things every day. I think I think that's the best part about journalism as a job is that there isn't a day you go, you know, working and not learning something new. 
Um, just trying to think what else have I learned today. I, I learned the difference between a beef cow. We're about to go see a beef cow in just a minute. Um, learned the difference between a beef cow and a dairy cow. Um, I learned that cow tipping is a myth. And that's new to me. That's, that's definitely news to me. And see, this is these are cows that I was looking at earlier. Bam. These are these are beef cows. Uh, one's called Angus. So you gotta watch out. There's two. Two right there. Gotta watch out for that. Right. The one on the left is Angus, and the one on the right is AOB, which stands for uh, all of the brand. Um, I think. Probably should have taken notes on that. Um, they're owned by Lacey Bradley of Raleigh, Illinois. Um, she was nice enough to tell me, to teach me a lot about cows today. Um, or, or earlier this afternoon. Just, you know, I just, I've never seen really a cow in person. Uh, the only time I've really interacted with a cow was, uh, when I had that cookie jar as a kid. And, like, you opened the head and, uh, it would move. And that's, again, that's something totally new to me. I've never, I've never seen this. This is, this is wild. This is wild in my eyes. And they're eating hay that's, uh, it's a special kind of hay. It's the kind of hay that you would, uh, feed them before shows because there's certain kinds of hay, apparently, that it is I learned today. There's certain kind of hay that makes cows hyper. And I think that is so, it's different. Like, I've, you know, I've known of food, you know, sugar makes me hyper, personally. And... For there, for there to be a type of hay to make a cow hyper, it's just totally different to me, and I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Alright, we're gonna move on. I think we're gonna move on to, to goats. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna walk around here. Um, Saline County, which is where basically I work. This is, again, like a whole new world. You can cue that Aladdin music. Um, Basically, this is videos from notes. I'll probably show this to my boss to see how he feels about it. Um, we can go in here and see kids signing up and stuff. Following me around. There's a kid sitting there. There's rabbits. And see, the thing with these rabbits is a lot of them, they, they all look the same. Actually, I learned that they're all, a lot of them are from the same family. Um, which is different for me because, I don't know. This is just odd. Dad, get Everyone, Everyone's been really friendly with me today, and I really appreciate that, seeing that I'm new and have no idea what I'm doing. Um, that's what I like about Southern Illinois. People are genuine and they're kind. See, you got more rabbits here. It's a rabbit. These goats and such. Yeah, you cursed the cubs. That's what I heard. This is one of the nice young ladies that helped me earlier and taught me about goats. I'm doing a video now. Oh. I'm just going around and kind of detailing what I've learned. And what was your name again? Krista. Krista. Okay. What was your last name? Mayberry. Mayberry. Okay. I don't want to get you mixed, mixed up. That would be that'd be bad. And apparently goats enjoy pizza crusts. I learned that today. Um, I don't blame them personally. I like my pizza crust uh, stuffed with cheese inside and dipped in dipped in marinara sauce but that's just me I'm weird don't don't make fun of me please <laughs> no. looks like the goats are relaxing now and we're running toward the end of my video the 930 mark um I guess I guess this is where I'll close this one out um ooh look three kittens kittens four kittens yeah I saw that on YouTube um so in closing this is this is a different experience for me obviously uh, if you know me, my background is uh, in sports. I like baseball, basketball, football. Um, those are things I grew up, you know, watching and, and listening to on the radio. So, needless to say, a fair is just totally out of my realm of, of, of my comfort zone. 
but I feel as if me putting myself out here to meet people and, and see something that I've never seen before is, is good for me, good for the community, and just good for my career. That's really all I have for now. Until next time. Good night from, uh, where am I? Good night from Saline County. <laughs>